it's me, Lego Red 12, and I'm here today reviewing a brand new Lego Legends of Shima set. And this set is the Speed Oars. It is um, set number 70115. It is ages 7 to 12. And you get two minifigures. And it is a bit of a harder build than most sets I've found. It took me longer. Um, but overall, I think it's a pretty decent set. It's not much of a set. It's um, more of a battle arena, like Lego Ninja Go. But let's go on and have a look at this set. So first off, we have the minifigures. And I'm going to show you guys the bad guy. Praga. And he's this evil crocodile dude with this new cape. He does have a bit of back printing, but I don't feel like taking this off. Each minifigure has these things, uh, chest plates. When I did my Rav's Cult review, he had one, but it was a different colour. It was a grey colour, or silver colour. And I figured out that the leaders of them, the types of species, have different coloured, golden colours of the uh, chest plates. Here's Kraga's main face. And here's his second face, which doesn't look really any different when he's got this new moulded crocodile head on it, but it doesn't really matter. He's got slightly open mouth on this, but he gets covered up, and his eyes are slightly more open. He does have this cool new sword, which um, is two separate pieces. This piece comes out, if you can try and get it out. Um, he's got front printing and back printing like I've already said and he's got pretty cool I think he's a pretty overall pretty cool character I like him, he's one of my favourites so far and if you look at the back just let's see some teeth coming out the back I like he's wearing teeth out his back and you do get cards with this I think I've already said that, I'm not quite sure and as I'm showing you Praga may as well show you his bike speed or whatever it is and this thing comes with this you get two of these, you get a green one and a yellow one you stick it in, pull it and then let go and it's supposed to drive off like crazy and you can't control these, it's not as easy as it sounds to be honest when you actually see the set in action, I'm going to try and show you a bit of a separate video of set in action but, and you have to take this bit off but I'm not going to take it up now to sit Kragger in there because he doesn't fit under like that he's not like some kind of limbo champion or anything so that's Kragger and his little bike so let's move on to the next character and this is Lavo Lavo or something L-A-V-A-L so Lavo yeah he is the Lion King I assume and he comes with this fancy blue cape and uh, I'm I like this minifigure as well, but he's not my he's not my ultimate favourite, I must admit. His headpiece is pretty cool. It's like this lion's face and fire coming out of his head or something. Oh, he does have two faces. He has this face. Angry lion. I don't like the way of putting nose on him. It doesn't look quite right. And these sort of cute-ish face, where it looks kind of like he wants to play with a ball of fur. But yeah. Ugh. It looks, it looks a bit like a cartoon character, like something from Thundercats, maybe. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, Ugh. it looks, it looks a bit like a cartoon character, like something from Thundercats, maybe. I'm not quite sure, and he does come with his own awesome sword, which is blue, not evil, and he also has the golden plate, so I'm guessing he's a good guy, leader. So let's move on to the set itself. Oh wait, oh sorry, I forgot to show you. He's a speed or bike. So here it is, uh, lion, like ra 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 ra, and uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, it comes with the yellow one, like I said. And now I'm gonna move on and show you the set, um, set out normally, like as it normally would be. So yeah, I'm gonna go on to do that right now. So yeah, now I've got this set up, I'm going to show you guys the main set itself. So first up, we have this angry looking lion thing. And if you see here, it's like this little pad. If you hit that, this ball here, 
should fall off and you're supposed to do something with it. I've tried reading the instructions, but it's just a comic book and it doesn't make any sense. I mean, I'm going to have to look on the internet online. So, yeah. Line is a, was a pretty hard build to make. And um, the toe claws keep coming off. I suppose I have two, but for some reason it, it just fell off somewhere. Here's it from the back. <coughs> so, next up we have these little fire pods. And you get two of them. Second one. And they're just like this uh, evil gateway of doom. And here you have a ramp with this large leaf on it. And here you have this turret fountain of some kind. And uh, yes, again, there has been another piece missing. This set easily breaks apart, so if you're going to want to take good care of it, you're going to have to make sure you keep it in a safe place. I did, but it still didn't quite work. So now I'm going to show you a preview of the thing itself. Uh, if I can try and find this balance on something. Then I could, could get it to work. Okay. Good enough-ish. Okay, that's, that's good. Okay. As you can see, I put leather boxes to stop them from riding off. Anyway, um, I also forgot to show these things. But to go on the bottom of the bike, you have little extras, like Ninja Go. So you can like take this and stick it on here. You also get a second one for the other guy. You also get extra weapons like this spear axe and this ball and mace thing. So I am going to use Level, or Level, oh, I don't know his name, whatever his name is. I'm just going to use it plain without his sword. And I'm going to race him along this track that I have set up so you guys can see what they actually do. And as you can tell, he went straight off. Um, I'm going to try that again, see if I can do it to actually work. Still, this again doesn't quite work. <laughs> but still, it's really funny when they just crash and burn. Before I end the video, there's one last thing I have to show you guys. And that is the cards. You get a couple of cards. You get a deck for level. I'm not going to show you all of them, I'm just going to show you the catch card. And you get a deck for Kragger. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, basically it for this set review. It's a longer set review, and as I said, it breaks kind of easily, so if you want to keep it in good condition, you're going to have to put it in a really safe place. And you're going to have to be careful in it when if you're moving it. So yeah, it's me, Blagger 12 and I'll see you later, everyone.